Hi guys, welcome to the Bass Slayer YouTube channel. Today we were reviewing all my tackle and my tackle boxes. This is the new kit, mainly panfish but a couple crankbaits. We'll make a video about this review. Um, these are my Mondo optics that I just bought. Um, pliers, scooting pliers. I don't know what brand pliers these are. They're just from Walmart, pretty cheap. Multi tool and and here is a top water with one crankbait box and my rigging. Okay, so I'll start by reviewing my rig my rigs. So as you can see, to start off, we will have my weights. This is a majority of different type of weights. H2O, no tungsten, all lead. This is a Kevin Van Dam crankbait. Good detail. I've caught a couple fish with that. Caught actually like a four pounder. Um, Kevin Van Dam frog. You can see the color. The belly's pretty plain, so not a great frog for, to buy. But and then no, now we'll start with the the midnight um, Guggen blooper. It's very very good. Next the chartreuse vegan blooper lots of fish bite the back because of the different colors and this is my Guggen eat me whopper popper frog eat me um very tough material the underbelly is amazing it's the reason that i bought it and my hooks, these are a mix of like the H2O Express hooks and hooks from like Razor Sharp, Eagle Claw, and just hooks up from stuff like that. Okay, so that is the top water box. I'm actually to talk about the Bass Pro box. I'm sorry, you can't see that. Google Squad sticker. I actually got this in a mystery tackle box. Next, we will be doing my jigs and all of my crankbaits and round traps. To start off, we have this Guggen Squad thick juicy jig. Um, yeah, it is a one half ounce. It's what I really recommend. My favorite size. Um, this is just a regular. I don't know the brand. Actually, these three all are all together. This one. And this one. This one's actually one of my favorites of that kit. I bought a kit on Amazon. Cheap. But this red one. It's actually a moss from Moss Kentucky. And this white brown dark brown and black with sparkles and last but not least another vegan squad one actually this one doesn't say the weight because it's one of their micro jigs well it just came out for a little bit in the community spare line and then next we will get to the this is actually a berkeley rattle trap you can see the red on red lipless and very shiny, reflecting, super brown probably. You can, um, I can't remember what this one is, but it's the very like big, big bill. Actually, it's a, it dives from eight to 12 feet. So that's a really big diving range. Lots of places I can't use those. And this is a very old um, Berkeley Irma and Rapala rattle trap, if you can tell the blue red white and blue edition with the red hooks this is the grand banger it's a three to seven diving range and it's googan squad like most most of the things in my box okay this is just the regular googan crankbait three to six diving i love this color then i have the rapala it's actually a very old bait. Rapala 
38, and then just a jig head, obviously. Okay, so that's it for that box. Next, we will go to the new kit. Actually, we'll probably do a review of this and go fishing with it. Uh, eight likes, and we will fish with this box. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through it. I'll go through it when we make eight likes. Next, we have my plastics. So, yesterday, I actually went to the Guggen Squad HQ to pick up a bunch of baits. I bought some good baits. So, these are really crumbled, but 10 inch Mondo ones. Humongous. I've already trimmed them. One of my favorite baits. Rage Swimmers. These are actually too big for my trailer. 3.75 inch. Back is very glitter. Cracking Crawls. These are probably one of my favorite things to fish with. Because you can trail them, you can catch a rig in. Anything. So, yeah, I have to fish a lot for those. White Guggen Senkos and Bandito Bugs. Uh, black and blue Bandito Bugs. I don't know why I mixed them. I forgot. But I think I lost the kit in the case. Um, Saucy Swimmers. 3.3 inch. And, yeah. And then, last but not least, the Z-Man Ela Z-Tech. Now, if we get 15 likes on this video, I will do a straight Z-Man and see how many fish I can catch before it starts ripping. So, this is actually very surprising. So, that's how thick that bait it's holding at this position. You can tell. Very thick. Um, it's actually hard. Pretty kind of hard to hook. That's the only problem with these baits. With the squid tail. Really close. So that is all for my plastics. And I actually have a jig on my pole. I just remembered. Oh. That's good. But. Okay. So let me put these up. And. I will review my accessories. So first thing. I just got these today. I haven't ever fished with them. But Mondo Optics, Guggen Squad. Very cool. With, came with the bag. Special bag, if you can tell. Guggen Squad bag. So these are helpful. They have like an engravement. Doesn't actually bother me. The, the Guggen Squad engravement. As you can see, Mondo Optics. Very comfortable. We will do a view of those and go fishing with them. I'll show you some fish. And also yesterday at the Guggen Squad HQ, I got these not nine inch pliers, Guggen Squad pliers. Really, they're really useful. Actually, for catfish, they work the best because the whiskers or the stingers can't go through the bars. They have hook engravements, so you can grab your hooks. Well, actual braid cutters right here. You can fit your liver in there. Fit livers in there. And last but not least, just the cheap Walmart multi-tool pliers. Close it back up. You have a saw, a knife, and a screwdriver. The knife is actually sharp. So... Uh, thanks for watching this video. Remember the chat, the goals. Eight likes. We will go fishing with our fishing bass fish or with our pan fishing kit. And 15 likes. I will do a full Z-Man challenge. So thanks for watching. And 